I'm Laurel. I work at Cheyenne Mountain Library and today I'm going to show you how to make puppy chow for your amazing Super Bowl celebration. Okay, so let's see what we need to make puppy chow. First, a bowl, a soft pan about this size, use it in proportion to the bowl. You're going to need um, a cup and a half of powdered sugar, so I've got mine here. You're going to need um, a measuring cup. It doesn't have to be this kind of measuring cup, it's a dry measuring cup. I have this one because it's giant and it's easy for measuring out big quantities of things. You're going to need a gallon zip bag. You're going to need peanut butter. Um, I've got creamy peanut butter here. You want creamy peanut butter. You don't want nutty, <laughs> uh, crunchy. You don't want crunchy peanut butter. For okay. You want creamy peanut butter. You do not want crunchy peanut butter for this recipe. That will ruin it. It might, I mean, okay. And we've got semi-sweet chocolate chips. Oh. And the most important part, we want, um, so any sort of, uh, cereal square will work. Um, for instance, the classic, I believe, is a rice chex. I'm using Crispix because it has more sides, so that equals more fun. Also, they look more like footballs. Um, okay. So, let's get started. We're going to do some mise en place, which means everything in its place. And the first step is to put nine cups of cereal into the bowl, okay? So here's four cups. Eight cups. Oh, we're gonna need a bigger bowl. Okay. That in a second. Okay. Bigger bowl coming up. Okay, I'm back with a bigger bowl, so more room to do things. And she fancy. Alright, okay, so now we need to um, put a cup and a half of powdered sugar into this bag. What's going on, Laurel? Why are we putting food into a bag? That's a great question, and you'll find out in good time. Okay, so this is a pretty, um, alright, we're gonna pour it. It only go well. Okay, there's a cup. We need a half a cup, and I'm gonna eyeball it because it doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, so there we've got our gallon Ziploc bag which has a cup and a half of powdered sugar in it and our giant bowl full of rice ceased uh, puffy cereal. This has corn and rice, corn on one side, rice on the other. Rice. increases the fun. Okay, now we're going to melt a cup of chocolate chips with a half a cup of peanut butter. And how we are going to do that is we are going to melt the chocolate chips first and then when they are all the way melty, we are going to stir in the peanut butter and the peanut butter will get soft and squishy and start to swirl in and it's awesome. Okay. So that is a cup of chocolate chips. So now we are going to go to the stove. Okay, here we are at the stove. Here I am putting my cup of chocolate chips into the saucepan. Okay, now we are turning on the burner. Or are we? There we go. All right, we're gonna have that on a low heat. 
We are going to melt our chocolate low and slow. Chocolate can burn, so do be careful with this. I'm going to use a wooden spoon. It doesn't matter. You can use plastic. Um, doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Okay, so we are melting these guys. They're getting pretty yummy. You'll see. They will melt fast, so be careful. There were like five chocolate chips in there. Five chocolate chips over one cup. That's what this recipe calls for. Check it out. It's getting melty. That's what that looks like. I don't know if you can tell. Melted chocolate looks like. Ooh, yeah. Okay. So now we're going to put a half a cup of peanut butter into here. And if you have measured peanut butter in a measuring cup, you know that it is a pain to get it all out. So I'm going to eyeball it. And one key to eyeballing things is to get the correct measurement so that you can really visualize exactly how much you need. Um, scoop it, and you can do a cute little side-by-side. -side. I'd say we are either right at or just under a half a cup based on that side-by-side, -side. so I'm just going to drop like a tablespoon more in there, and that's good. And so peanut butter knife you can set aside. Okay, now we are going to uh, ta turn off the heat. Definitely turn off the heat. And we are stirring in the peanut butter. That's what it looks like to stir in peanut butter. Pretty clumpy so far. But getting smooth. Alright, it looks like I was successful in not burning my chocolate. And while I mix this together, I'm just gonna give you some cleanup tips. So, when you are cleaning chocolate from pans and bowls and stuff, you want to run that under very hot water. You can even boil some water and pour that in in order to get the hot uh, in order to get the chocolate off. This works for um, white chocolate as well. Basically, you don't want to like ruin your sponge by um, scrubbing that chocolate with it. You're just gonna make your sponge or washcloth or brush, whatever, really gross. Um, and then have a bad day. But if you can melt it all off with the hot water first and then take the sponge to it to get just like the extra cocoa butter off, that is the best way to do that. Okay, we are looking very smooth. Check it out. Okay, yeah, next step. Okie doke, we've got our saucepan full of chocolate and we are going to pour it into our bowl of cereal and then we are going to fold it in and I will demonstrate that. But let's just try and get like a really distributed um, drizzle going, okay? So that is the goal, to distribute the drizzle. 
and um, yeah. Maybe, maybe this is something you want to do with help or maybe you're good on your own. It's up to you. Uh, okay. Well, some of them are definitely coated. 
others, I can't really tell. Oh. Woo! Puppy chow in the bag. <laughs> yeah, that's done. That's perfect. Okay, so the next step is to get an attractive bowl. attractive bowl. Now we're going to pour it in. And so here is our beautiful bowl of puppy chow. Yay! Look at it. It looks so good. I'm going to take a bite. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. I will be taking this to a Super Bowl celebration of very few people because pandemic and it will be delicious and I will really enjoy it. All right, 